Hi, my name is Drew Davis, a senior developer for the Reinforcement Learning Toolbox and the Controls and Identification team. In this tech showcase, I will present how to teach a quadruped robot how to walk using reinforcement learning. So why reinforcement learning? Designing a walking controller with modern control tools is a complicated task that requires deep knowledge in hybrid systems, contact modeling, inverse kinematics, optimal control, etc. Furthermore, developing, developing a system that can handle multiple gates like walking and running will typically require building a controller for each gate type. This approach can take a lot of engineering effort. Reinforcement learning is a technique that can solve complicated tasks using data obtained from trial and error. The engineer's main task using reinforcement learning is to design a reward function that reinforces the desired behavior. For instance, we may design a reward function for a tracking controller that aims to minimize tracking error and control effort. Though it may be easy to set up a reinforcement learning problem, to learn complex behaviors from complex dynamics, a lot of data is required, which can result in long training times. Additionally, trained RL agents do not currently offer any performance guarantees compared with modern control tools. Lots of simulations are typically required to validate behavior over a set of varying initial conditions and parameters. The reinforcement learning toolbox allows users to create environments using Simulink models. The quadruped robot is modeled with Simscape Multibody with the Contact Forces library. To build the environment object, we have to define the specifications for the observations and actions. The quadruped robot has the following 44 normalized observations. Position, orientation, velocities, and angular velocities of the torso, joint angles and velocities, contact forces at the feet, and the joint torques at the previous time step. The robot has eight actions for the joint torques of each hip and knee joint. Each joint is saturated at plus or minus 10 Newton meters. Once the observation and action specifications are defined, we can construct the environment object to be used in the training of our RL agent. A reset function is defined to vary the initial conditions of the environment during simulation and training. Varying initial conditions and parameters during training allows the RL agent to more efficiently explore, ultimately yielding better training results. As stated before, one of the critical tasks for the engineer using reinforcement learning is to design the reward function. For the quadruped robot, we will design a reward function to reinforce the following behaviors. Maximize forward velocity. Prevent the robot from falling over. Keep the torso at the de desired height. Keep the torso parallel to the ground. Minimize torques applied to the joints. For walking, we will use DDPG, which is an actor-critic reinforcement learning agent, where the critic guides the actor toward taking the estimated optimal actions. The critic learns which actions are optimal by collecting data generated by simulating the environment against a noisy policy. To construct a DDPG agent, we must construct the actor and critic networks. The actor computes an action given an observation. The critic estimates expected long-term reward given an observation and action pair. In this case, our actor and critic are modeled with deep neural networks built with the Deep Network Designer tool. We also configure options to modify how the DDPG agent learns. Here, the agent will learn from 250 samples at each time step by setting the mini batch size parameter. Additionally, noise options are configured to promote to promote exploration during training. Finally, we can build the DDPG agent and get ready to start the training. For training, we will run a maximum of 10,000 episodes. Training will stop if the average cumulative reward exceeds 190. Agents will be saved for every, every episode that exceeds the episodic cumulative reward of 200. In addition, the RL Toolbox supports parallel training for DDPG. For this example, we will set up four simulation workers, where each worker will send trajectories of 32 experiences back to the DDPG agent. 
the agent will learn from these experiences and send updated parameters back to the workers. The Reinforcement Learning Episode Manager is launched when training starts so we can visualize the progress of the training. In this case, the average reward exceeded our stopping criteria threshold, so training stops. Once finished training, the RL Toolbox allows you to run a set of simulations to validate your trained agent. Here, we are showing a single simulation result from the Simscape Multibody Explorer, where we can see the robot successfully walking. Once we validate the performance of our trained agent, we can generate a MATLAB policy function ready for CUDA and C++ code generation with the MATLAB and GPU coder products.